Hey everyone, it's Daryl as a service from Modern Work Mentor. The new meeting notes for Microsoft Teams has arrived. It is powered by Microsoft Loop. We've seen it in various different forms and I wanted to just step through and show you some of this first experience, show you what it's like within Microsoft Teams and what you might do with it from preparing for the meeting, using it in the meeting and then following up from the meeting. So I have a Microsoft Teams meeting that I have already sent the invite out. Oopsie daisy, I should have added some meeting notes. And you really should do this ahead of time, uh, but I'm going to add it to an existing meeting. I'll uh, edit the meeting and I'm going to show you just this new screen where below the uh, meeting um, body, we now have a new box called add an agenda so others can edit. And so if we click into this box, this is where I as a, a meeting organizer might have added this ahead as part of the meeting. You can see as I do that, that it's using Microsoft Loop as part of that experience. Um, it has named the Loop file or the Loop page after the name of the meeting. You can see that it's picked that up. Now, what can we do with this? Well, it has embedded the Loop into the meeting invite. And so as this gets sent out again, as I send out the update, it's going to be available for meeting attendees. So I do want to add an agenda for this particular topic. So I'm going to say that this is all about the, the site tasks that I need to, to run people through. So uh, we will uh, list site tasks for going live. Uh, and I'm going to cover that as a meeting agenda item and maybe I'm going to give it um, 15 minutes and then for this next task we'll say uh, prioritize tasks and we'll give that to Jessica and we'll allow 10 minutes for that task. Right, so we've got a hint there that this is a loop that hasn't been shared with Jess yet. So I'm going to click on her name and we'll share that so that she can, um, can access that. Now if I had created this meeting invite, added the agenda and meeting notes ahead of time, then sent it out, it would have picked up on who was included in the meeting invite and then they would have had that automatically shared so that the loop would be available. But because I'm adding it after the fact, it's prompting me that this hasn't been shared with Jessica yet. So that's why we went through those steps. Um, and that means that we'll probably also have to share it with uh, Penelope as well, who's also been invited to the meeting uh, further up here. So we're not going to add in any meeting notes because we're going to use that in the meeting and likewise with the follow-up tasks. But the other things that we have here that uh, we could use to, to check out and use in part of, part of Loop is we could copy this as just a component and share it with other people. Uh, we can see who has access to that Loop already. So we've got Jess, myself, and this is just one of our admins in, in the background. So we've added that, that loop live, or the meeting notes live to this. We're now going to join the meeting. So let's do that. We'll just join this so that we don't have audio, so we don't get any um, echoes. And we might just change this to a different camera. Okay. So join the meeting. Right, so while we're in the meeting, uh, we've got two of our participants here and uh, uh, we've got the, the loop shared. We've got Penelope's in there, we've got Jessica in there too. She's going to be able to, to join and see that. And we'll start taking some notes together. So as we're going through the agenda items, we can say, look, we're checking that off. We've managed to cover that off. And what do we do within uh, that part of the meeting agenda? We talked about the site uh, go live tasks. Uh, we said that um, share the site with the organization and we needed to also um, update the graphic in the call to action. All right, so that's some things that we discussed during the meeting. Now this is content that is available to all of our uh, 
to the participants within the meeting. So the really useful thing here is that you're able to see these notes live. Penelope and Jessica can see those live. Um, one other thing that we can do, you can see that if I hover over here, that that's, that's my cursor from the window just below that. Uh, and if uh, Penelope was in here, then we would also see some of her, her notes that she might be taking collaboratively with me. So those are all quite useful. Useful to be able to, to uh, use this uh, while we're taking notes. One thing that's really improved as part of this experience, we used Loop early on and we're adding loops to the meeting chat, but this is quite different. This is a dedicated meeting notes pane that uh, has actually been optimized a bit to fit these um, items within the, uh, the pane here. So if we were using this in chat, it would be a little squash, there'd be a scroll bar, and it wasn't great. But now using a dedicated meeting notes pane, it's right here. We can hide those notes. So maybe I might want to you know, share a, uh, my desktop or a presentation or something like that. Um, and then I can go back to those meeting notes and I can open them up and there they are, we can, we can add to them. So the other thing that I'm going to do while I'm in this is we're going to just create a follow-up task or two. So uh, let's have a look at ooh, site go live tasks. We'll have um, uh, add the users to the site owners group. And we'll assign that to Jess. And we've got a due date that we'll click on here too and we'll say that that is due Thursday. Now notice that task, where we might normally see it in a loop, it would go right across the page, but in this notes pane, it's doing the ta it's making the task uh, one on top of the other. So that's, that's kind of helpful. Um, we can add another task here for Penelope. So we've added people to the list. Uh, we also need to post a welcome news post, news article, and we'll get Penelope to do that. And that will also be on Thursday because that's our go live date. So two days left. Great. So that's, that's us in the meeting. We've made our notes. We've worked our way through our agenda. Um, we could also, looks like I could click on this button here to go straight through to where this loop uh, page is. So if I do that, this is going to take me through to here you go, there's the page and it's full experience. So if I needed a bit more room to be able to work on that, that's cool. We'll just leave that open for now. Uh, and I'm going to end the meeting as part of this, this meeting uh, experience with loop and meeting notes. Let's end the meeting. Thanks for coming. Great. So now we're in the phase where we have finished our meeting and we're wanting to go back and check our notes and maybe you know, just have a look at some of the tasks and uh, things that were assigned to people within the meeting. So I'm back into my meeting invite, um, and I, that's just within my calendar here, within Teams. So we can uh, open that up and expand it. We can see down at the bottom that we've got our meeting notes, and because it's powered by loop, it's just taken a little while to sync and display. There it is. We can see who's in the notes at the moment. So it's just me at the moment. Uh, Jess is not in there anymore. Penelope is not in there anymore because they're not in the meeting. They've gone on to other things. Uh, but I can see the various notes that we took. I can see the tasks that were assigned. And, um, and I can see that I could click through and, and open up those notes in that full experience. Now one other thing I want to show you too that is just quietly happening in the background whenever we're using a follow-up task list is that it's also synchronizing with Planner and To-Do. Uh, so this is a really good feature that's part of the meeting notes experience, that it, it isn't just a place where we're taking notes and that it's sitting there on a page, but it also comes into the other tools that we use for task management. Uh, so let's, let's, and there's no indication here on that task list and within the loop either, by the way, within those meeting notes. But if we go over to our page here, uh, let's actually dig into Planner, for example. So what we should see here once, once we've uh, opened up Planner is we'll, we'll see that uh, there is a, great, there is a Planner that is linked to the meeting notes from that meeting. Um, 
of course, Viva Engage. So one thing I've discovered here is that if you don't have a task that's assigned to you, then it's not going to turn up in your experience of Planner. Um, earlier I just assigned the tasks to Jessica and Penelope, but I hadn't assigned one to myself, and so the task was not there and the Planner was not there uh, for me in my experience. Um, so now that I've assigned a task to myself, if I go back over to my Planner, um, my Planner app, then I can see that this is a a new plan that has been recommended to me. Maybe it takes a little while to come through. I'd expect the planner to, to show to me anyway, even if uh, I wasn't assigned a task, I would expect to see it there as the meeting organizer or as a participant in the meeting. But I see the plan and I can see the tasks that have been assigned to me, so that is helpful. I can see um, the call to action graphic is mine and uh, other tasks that have been assigned to people within the meeting. And if I go through to assign me, assign to me, I can also see uh, tasks that have been assigned as part of that. So there's the task. It's connected to the meeting notes. And if we wanted to return to the meeting notes, we can click on that link and it'll take us back to showing the context of the meeting and the rest of the notes. So what do you think of that? It's uh, pretty, pretty powerful stuff, isn't it? Being able to create those notes together you saw the life cycle of this, that you would, as a meeting organizer, add those notes to the meeting. Uh, then you would use it in the meeting. And then after the meeting, you can use it to follow up on what was said and check out those tasks that might have been assigned to you. Alongside a meeting recording where you would have the transcript and some of those intelligent wrap-up or intelligent recap features that are part of the team's premium license, this is going to be very powerful for helping people to save time as they are trying to come back to a meeting and see what was it that I needed to do again? What did we cover again? Now I know. So that's the latest in Microsoft Teams and uh, connected together with uh, Microsoft Loop as part of powering those meeting notes. If you're keen and seeing more of these kinds of tips and tricks around Microsoft 365, then you know where to find me and you know what to do. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.